Hello, friend. We are now going to take a look at the 20th gate. So this gate is called the gate of now, um, and it is about contemplation. So again, here we are. It's in the throat center. Oh, my, my uh, arrow kind of pointed a little too high. So it's here in the 20th. Um, 20th gate is down here. So it's the voice of I am now or I know I am myself doing now. <laughs> I have this gate. Um, it's a very interesting um, trait or, or gate to have in your body graph. Of course, I'm a little biased because I have it. So the possibility it can connect to uh, gate 10, which is all about the behavior of self, and that creates the channel of awareness. It connects to um, the 34 down in, so, so here's the 10 here. So I'm go 20, 10, or I'm go 20 down to the 34, um, and that is the channel of charisma, and that happens to be um, how it's defined in my body graph. Um, and then the 2057, so the channel of the brainwave. So all of this is about awareness, and it's about self-empowerment. So it is the most existential gate. It's right here, right now, all the time. And when the expression is properly timed, the awareness will actually transform into words or actions, excuse me, because of course the 20th gate is in, in, in the throat center, that can impact others around you. So you have to be absorbed in the present moment. And here's something that I, that I find that I do a lot. When I actually bridge somebody's split with this gate, I find I finish their sentences. <laughs> Good or bad, it's just what happens. I, there's no thought pattern there, it just comes out of my mouth. So being to be awake and aware and to survive, because of course, you know, the spleen, that, that 57th gate is in the spleen, you must be fully present in the moment and authentically yourself. You know, um, an example that I use is, you know, a bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit that goes out to eat grass and, and forage isn't stressed out and, and worried about survival. It knows that its intuitive instinct will provide it in the correct timing, it will provide the message to that, the rabbit's body in the correct timing, um, at the correct moment, and he can just be a bunny. You know, he doesn't have to be anything else. And if there's danger, he will be able to survive because he's just authentically being a bunny. When the cougar is going to come and eat him, his, his, you know, 57th gate, his instinct and his intuition, his, you know, spleen will speak and it'll bring him, you know, to sur in, in survival mode because it's all about being in the now. And thriving is also being about being in the now. So... <sighs> You can't figure this out by your head, okay? You can't mentally consider or control what comes bubbling up from inside of you. So what you say or what you do is suddenly there for everyone to witness, including you. Kind of like I said, I just, bloop, things come out. I finish people's sentences. Or there'll just be this overwhelming whelming movement from my sacral center that 34th gate 
um, that also has the ninth gate and it has the um, 42nd gate and it has the 14th gate in my sacral center like all of that that unprecedented power right now it's gonna it's gonna speak and I can't there's there's no um, changing up that timing however I can tell the difference between the body wanting to speak and the not self mind wanting to speak there's a huge difference there huge difference for me so so you get to see when you're not looking and you get to hear when you're not listening um of course when you're in the now no matter who you are and if you don't have this defined it's a wisdom that you're gaining but if you do have it defined it's just an innate ability that you have um i laugh because my husband says this to me all the time like how did you hear that you know he'll be having a conversation with somebody across the shop or you know they'll be standing like way far away from me and i can hear it um when i was a manager at a a branch of a financial institution i could be in my office and hear conversations and most of the time my staff had no idea that i was hearing those conversations um and i could also hear uh like when when the staff were helping clients and if i needed to um if i needed to come support whatever you know whatever the transaction was um i would already be coming out of my office and walking up there to to do that and the employee had you know hadn't even indicated that they need me yet so really it's about you know seeing what what you're not looking at and hearing what you're actually not you know trying to listen for but when you're in the now and you're present and you have this gate that all happens all the time so what i love about the contemplation piece of this um 20th gate is the 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 program this this matrix that we're we're um that we're living in that we are designed to to navigate um with as our um as our treasure map there's underlying principles that lie here there's underlying laws that take place in the universe you know there is a law about gravity gravity is a law um and that contemplation is to deeply know right now in the now that there is a set of principles and laws that that are here to assist us in our evolution you know imagine how distracting it was if there wasn't any gravity and we're all bouncing around right the moon thankfully provides us with um with that gravity so that we can be grounded on earth because we are a part of her we are her whatever she has for minerals we require those minerals in our body um you know the plants that she provides the the sustenance of of if you if you eat meat um she she provided all of this for us um and there's this underlying set of principles and guidance that is 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 provided to us and in this 20th gate when you're trusting your strategy and authority that contemplation in the now like it it's happening all the time and again being a individual in an in, in the individual circuitry 
self-empowerment and empowerment. Um, when you are empowered, you bring empowerment to others. And mm, the contemplation is beautiful, is absolutely spectacular. And there's no, um, hmm. and again, you can't figure it out mentally, right? There's no mental thought process about this. So again, the 20th gate, if it's undefined, so the not self will push you into speaking um, before the right time. If the throat's undefined, this gate is undefined, that the throat is, the not self is always trying to get attention. A mutation is about timing. Again, as we walk around the mandala and, and we hear this over and over and over, individual circuitry is a pulse. There's a pulse on and a pulse off. And if you're pushing the timing, um, what you'll notice is that you're not in the now. So pushing the timing uh, is, is, is a mental, is a mental, um, hmm, is a mental dissatisfaction, right? Because the mind wants to just make so much noise. It wants to be noisy. And the 20th gate says, let's just contemplate and sit back in the self and allow for that to be the guidance. So there's no, there's no mentally figuring out how to be in the now. You can't mentally figure it out. You just have to just sit in self. The mind will want to blurt out its agenda course when this gate is undefined that the anything any anywhere in your in your chart where it's white the not self mind is just trying to distract the shit out of you by by making a whole bunch of noise and distraction and then you're susceptible to the distraction that that is around the world all the noise that's happening in the world. So again, here I am, and this is my chart. You know, can you contact me uh, to get a reading? Of course. There's my information there. Um, I hope through these invitations that, you, or through these videos, that you feel the invitation and you hear the invitation I, I love this information. I see it at depths that I never saw when I first started this, 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 um, mm, I don't even want to say journey with it, but um, for lack of a better word, it feels like home. And it feels like it, it, it's a wisdom that is deep within. And thankfully, we're always able to give it visuals and give it words. So if uh, you want to be educated on your human design and, you know, I can respond to that, then let's, let's educate you. Let's get you into your experiment. Let's, um, hmm. let's get you seeing what you're meant to see that would be fun. So thank you.